This Saturday, visitors are welcome back on the Outer Banks. As we've reported, Dare County closed to visitors and out-of-town property owners back in March in an effort to protect residents and curb the spread of COVID-19. Currently, 21 people have tested positive for coronavirus in Dare County. One person died and 16 people have recovered. 10 on your side's Kiana Patterson joins us now live and Kiana County leaders say at this point they can reopen safely. That's right, I'm told checkpoints will end on Saturday and visitors are welcome. But when you come back to Dare County, vacations will look a lot different this year. Everyone is still encouraged to practice social distancing, wear a mask and wash your hands often. Dare County leaders have been able to keep the case count down by restricting access to the county for several weeks. And Robert Otten is the county manager. He says hospitals in the area and in the surrounding region are now prepared for a possible surge in cases. That surge capacity is there to move the people to a hospital somewhere within the surge capacity plan to deal with the issues that you might expect with that size population. That was not the case back in March when we started. And following the state's order, restaurants can only serve takeout and delivery. Some stores are open, but with limited capacity. Otten says with the influx of people, this may help businesses in the area. If you have more people in the community spending money, then it helps the economy. Again, how much it helps remains to be seen because, again, there are some limitations on what you can and can't do. And... Some stores are open and some are not, and so we'll see. But it, it's certainly going to be a benefit um, at some level for our economy, sure. And coming up in just 30 minutes, I'll explain how they're preparing beaches and vacation rentals as more visitors come to the county. Kiana Patterson, 10 on your side.